The Korean economy is expected to witness slower growth this year and next year amid uncertainty over the fate of its exports as the incoming U.S. administration under Donald Trump pledges tougher tariffs on all imports. Our Che Suyang has more. The Korea Development Institute has predicted that South Korea's economic growth will slow to 2% in 2025, down from an earlier forecast of 2.1%. Data from the KDI in Tuesday show that although domestic spending is expected to see some recovery, weaker export growth will lead to the law of regrowth compared to this year. The institute also lowered its growth estimate for this year from 2.5 percent to 2.2 percent. The IMF and OECD still project South Korea's growth rate for this year at 2.5 percent. The institute explained the slow domestic recovery and increased uncertainty around exports to the U.S. due to the second Trump administration term are key reasons for the adjustment. Domestic recovery is slower than we expected. Additionally, interest rate cuts were delayed, and the negative impacts of these cuts were greater than anticipated. The forecast for next year was further lower to reflect concerns that export growth may worsen due to the Trump election. KDI also expects the increase in job numbers to fall from 180,000 this year to 140,000 next year. Consumer price growth is forecast at 1.6% in 2025, below the targeted 2%. While domestic demand may improve slightly, the KDI noted that construction investment remains weak, which could persist and present a risk. The institute predicted that South Korea's growth rate for exports will drop from 7 percent this year to 2.1 percent next year, anticipating a rise in U.S. protectionism. It believes that tariff barriers won't go into effect immediately and that, if tariffs are raised, this will likely start in 2026. Experts forecast South Korea's economic growth rate may not stay positive during the second Trump administration. The you know, the second version of Trump administration stresses uh, trade protectionism. The second uh, Trump administration will focus not just China, but all the countries we have, which have uh, tremendous surplus against the United States, like uh, Mexico, Canada, Korea, Japan, including China. Dr. Shin said the exports are already showing a negative trend this year and the growth rate may be lower than 2.0% next year. Chu Xiong, Arirang News.